comparing strings, we've already seen this equals, uh, yeah, equals and equals ignore case are what you're going to be using mostly. Uh, compare to, uh, there is a thing, uh, uh, if you need to know which string is bigger, you know, like bigger meaning uh, uh, alphabetically bigger, like you want to, you know, you want to sort some names and Adam needs to go before Let's just put that in the comment. Adam needs to go before Milan and Milan needs to go before someone named Tony or something like that. So you need to, and Tony still needs to go before someone called, I don't know, T U Tony, whatever. Uh, the point I'm trying to illustrate here is if their first letter is the same, they it just keeps comparing the next letter. And I mean, this one could have been called Tony with two N's or I don't know. And now it would still need to sort them because like it, this one would probably whoops this one would probably be before because n is before y you know so that's what compare to does compare to method returns an integer and there's a convention in in, pro, in all of programming languages uh, that comparing returns minus one zero or one doesn't have to be one or minus one per se but that's the convention the thing is here if you're comparing two things either one can be smaller that's minus one uh it can be equal that's your zero error, or it can be greater than that's your one you know so that's why it returns an integer and you always need to uh when when you're using compare to you just uh, let's see it in an example uh let's let's get rid of uh, we can comment it out um uh, let's create some strings string string first equals a a b c a string second equals a a d c and now we can say mm, int result equals first compared to second and what would we expect and expect now uh, if the result if result is greater than zero we do something otherwise we can say uh, if the result is less than zero, if a result less than zero, we can do something else. And otherwise, it's going to be they're, they're going to be equal. So we can print out equal there, equal first uh, bigger, second really, or first smaller. Mm, yeah. So let's just check out compare to. It says here, uh, pup, 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 compares two strings. What does it say? Uh, okay, if these strings are, blah, 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 the result is zero. If the strings are equal, compare to returns. Uh, okay, where is where does it say? When does it? Aha, uh -huh, it says okay. It says here returns the value zero if the argument string is equal to this string. A value less than zero if this string is lexicographically less than the string argument. So let me just check if it's less than zero. First one is smaller lexicographically, right? So that's the thing. Uh, you you always need to read the documentation, of course. If something doesn't work right, you're not using it properly. You know that's why I jumped in compare to just to check. You know when does it return minus one? When does it return one? Okay, and it just opens up your string class here and you can just examine all, all of the java code in the world here i don't know if you would ever need to do that but it does exist as well okay and now if you run this uh first one is smaller yeah it is because a a they match exactly and then b is smaller than d because it comes before d right if i put e here now now the first one is bigger because e comes after d uh, and if I put D here, then it's just, you know, going to print out equal. Okay, so that's your compare to. And uh, just remember comparison, uh, there's going to be, we're going to even be implementing our own comparisons. For example, how do you compare two students or two dogs or two persons or something like that? We can even implement our own comparisons. And we'll see that in later lessons. I just wanted to point out that compare to works like that. Uh, and in, in like, all of the languages that I've ever seen, uh, this is the convention. Uh, negative number zero and positive number will represent smaller, equal, or greater than, you know, for the two things that you're comparing. 